Two of the family members inside a car crushed by a falling sign in Elizabethtown have been released from the hospital, but they are far from OK. 72 year old Lillian Curtis died after the accident. Her granddaughter spoke with us about her family's recovery. And I was thinking this morning about how you don't know what you have until it's gone. Mary Howard calls what happened Thursday incomprehensible. While driving through the parking lot of the Denny's right off 65 in E-Town, the sign towering above, estimated to weigh 2,600 pounds, fell on her family's car. Surveillance video capturing it. My mom was just screaming and, you know, she was saying a sign fell on the car and it crushed it. Howard says her mom, Mary Graham, her grandmother, Lillian Curtis, and her grandfather, Lloyd Curtis, were stuck in the car for about 40 minutes before emergency responders finally got them out. Lillian Curtis, 72, died after suffering catastrophic injuries in the back seat. Her grandfather, who had just undergone open heart surgery before the accident, is now clinging to life. It's really uncertain if we're looking at hours, days, possibly weeks at this point. His health has deteriorated pretty quickly. Howard's mother is physically expected to recover, but is now dealing with the emotional toll. Both are now at home in Columbia, Kentucky. Police believe intense wind gusts knocked the sign from its base, but the family still has many more questions. I definitely think there was some negligence, and the officer said that there was a bolt missing. Howard is now preparing to honor her grandmother at her funeral later this week. What are you doing? Hey, Ron. And trying to find some comfort in wake of tragedy. There's a million ways that my grandmother could have died, and no one would have ever known. And I don't believe that she would have wanted it any other way because she's got a whole nation praying for her family. Howard says that Denny's has not reached out to her family. The restaurant chain has released a statement about the incident, saying in part, quote, safety is our top priority.